Today, we're taking a closer look at a modern classic, the 2004 Canadian one-cent coin. This coin may seem like just another penny at first glance, but as we dig into its design, history, rarity, and even recent auction prices, you'll see why it has a special place in the world of collectors. Let's start with the coin's design. The obverse side features the iconic portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by artist Susanna Blunt. This version of the Queen's effigy, without a crown, has been used on Canadian coins since 2003 and gives a modern yet regal feel to the coin. It's instantly recognizable to anyone who's handled Canadian currency. On the reverse side, we have the traditional maple leaves design. This motif, created by George Kruger Gray, has been a mainstay of Canadian pennies since 1937. It symbolizes the Canadian identity and the nation's deep connection to now. 2004 was an interesting year in Canadian history. Politically, Paul Martin became Canada's 21st Prime Minister, and globally, this was a year marked by technological advancements and a growing global economy. The 2004 Canadian one-cent coin may not have been minted during a major historical event, but it was produced during the final years of the penny's active use in Canada. While it was still very much in circulation in 2004, the humble penny was on its way out. In 2012, the Royal Canadian Mint stopped producing the coin, officially marking the end of the penny in Canada's currency system. Today, it's a reminder of a time when these little coins were a key part of daily life. Let's talk about rarity and value. The 2004 Canadian one-cent coin had a relatively high mintage, with over 714 million coins produced. This means that, on the surface, it doesn't seem particularly rare. However, condition and variations in the minting process can make certain examples of this coin more valuable. The key to this coin's value lies in its condition. Coins graded as mint state, MS, or proof-like can fetch significantly higher prices, especially when they are perfectly preserved without any scratches or blemishes. For most circulated coins, the value is typically close to face value, but those in top condition can sell for a premium among collectors. So, while you may find a 2004 penny in your pocket change, finding one in pristine condition is much rarer. And that's where the true collectible value comes in. Now, let's get to the exciting part, auction prices. You may not expect it, but some 2004 Canadian pennies have gone for big bucks, especially in top condition. At a recent auction, a 2004 Canadian one-cent coin in MS-67 condition was sold for over $1.500. While this might not be in the millions just yet, it's an impressive price for a modern penny. Even more common examples in lower grades can fetch between $1.10 and $1.50, depending on their state. Error coins from 2004, those with unique misstrikes or variations, can sell for hundreds or even thousands of dollars, depending on the severity and rarity of the error. One fascinating sale included a coin with a doubling error on the reverse maple leaves, which sold for around $1.200. This just goes to show that even modern pennies can have hidden treasures that collectors are willing to pay a premium for. What makes the 2004 Canadian penny special? Asterisk asterisk so, why should you care about the 2004 Canadian penny? Well, beyond its place in the history of Canadian currency, it represents the end of an era. As pennies become scarcer in circulation more sought after in high grades, coins like this one will only continue to rise in value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keeping an eye out for pristine 2004 pennies could pay off down the line. Their design, historical context, and the thrill of finding an error coin make them a fascinating part of numismatics. That's all for today's deep dive into the 2004 Canadian one-cent coin. As we've seen, there's more to this little coin than meets the eye, from its historical background and design to the potential for big auction prices.